I yield. Please, no more. Mercy. I, I surrender. Please, just, just let me go. I, I, I'll leave. Go somewhere far away. I, I'll, I'll only drink animal blood any, anymore. I, sw I swear. Just don't, don't, don't do this, please. You're not going to let me go, are you? I didn't think so. Your kind isn't known for mercy, Hunter. Then, will you at least let me make peace with myself? Before you... Before you finish me off? Please. been running for you for days. And I'm so tired. All I'm asking for is just a few moments of rest before the end. You will? Thank you. Thank you, Mortal. I want to look at my mother's socket for a moment. I barely remember anything from my childhood. But I still remember this locket around her neck. Looking at it, it always brings me peace. It reminds me of a similar time. Better time. It's a pretty thing too, isn't it? Do you see the way the gemstone catches the light? It's fascinating, right? The way it sparkles. Yeah. The patterns just keep shifting and changing. I could keep on watching it forever and ever. I used to, you know. Whenever I had a bad day, my mother would hold me in her arms and tell me to relax. She would say that everything is all right, that everything is fine. And I would listen to her voice, watch the locket, and relax. It always calmed me down. It helped me clear my mind. It was so simple. So easy. All I had to do was watch the locket. Listen. And relax. It felt so good. Just like it feels good now. To watch the locket and relax. To let go of everything. And just rest. For a while. Because I'm tired, mortal. So very tired. And I'm guessing you must be too. Yes, I can tell. You're so drowsy. You can barely keep your eyes open. Oh, and I can see your arms are feeling so very heavy too. Carrying all that weight, it must be exhausting. Just let go of that thing you're holding. You don't need it. Let it fall. Yes, that's it. That feels much better, doesn't it? You are much too tired to be holding on to a heavy thing like that. You're so very tired. So very sleepy. And that's perfectly alright. 
You can just take a little nap. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Yes. But you should take off those glasses first. You're going to sleep. And you don't wear glasses when sleeping, do you? No. Of course not. So take them off. Good. Good. Now, look into my eyes, mortal. Yes. Look deeply into my eyes. Deeper. Deeper. And deeper into my pretty, pretty eyes. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> you know, my sire always said hypnosis was a waste of time. That it's pointless when we can just use compulsion instead. But the two of us, we know better, don't we? Not that compulsion doesn't have its uses. When there are no pesky magic glasses getting in the way. Think. That's it. Keep looking into my eyes. And sink. <laughs> Look at you. Completely in my thrall. Such power. And you're just putty in my hands now. Still, I must admit, you got me pretty good. It will take a lot of blood to recover from these wounds. Lucky for me, I have an excellent supply right here. But you don't have to worry about that. In fact, you don't have to worry about anything anymore. You can rest now. You go to sleep. Wake up. Easy, Hunter. Don't try to get up. You lost quite a bit of blood. It's your own fault. You did hurt me pretty badly. I had to take enough to heal the worst of my injuries. I said, Lie down. Better. I got you all the way here without having to turn you into a ghoul, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> what did you think I was going to kill you? Please, as if that was the worst I could have done to you. I've gotten really good at hypnosis. I could have rewritten your entire personality. Made you want nothing more than to please me. Or, I could have locked your mind away. Leaving you fully aware, imprisoned in your own body. 
I could even have made you believe, with every fibre of your being, that your friends and colleagues were monstrous vampires. And then, just stand back and watch the carnage. I could have done all of those things and more, but I didn't. Think about that while you recover. Yes, recover. If I leave you outside the way you are now, I might as well kill you myself. You're in one of my safe houses. I stocked up on food and water. You can find it in the pantry, over there. I will let you stay, as long as you need to get back up on your feet again. You will be safe here until then. You did me a kindness, when you could have killed me right away. So I don't think you're entirely a lost cause. You don't seem to be as much of a zealot as the rest of your organization. Just misguided. Look, I'm well aware that some vampires are monsters. And I need to be put down. But not all of us are. If you lot weren't so damn fanatical, we would even be on the same side. We've got no more love for massacres and corpses in the streets than you do. They make it harder to hunt. And you humans are so much less entertaining when you're spooked. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, I don't particularly feel like wiping all of you out. Rest up. And leave when you feel better, alright? Oh, and Hunter. I don't want to part ways on a threat. So, a little bit of friendly advice then. I didn't mess with your free will when I got into your head. There's nothing stopping you from trying to come after me again. But I wouldn't recommend it. I did get into your head, after all. And you shouldn't confuse mercy with weakness. <laughs> so much for making threats, huh? Goodbye, Hunter. I won't be seeing you again. Hey everybody, it's me, Gemini Audios. Just wanted to say thank you to the patrons who are helping support this channel. If you want to support in any way, feel free to look. The links will be down below. Also, if you're 18 years or older, feel free to join us in the Gemini Audios Discord server. We hang out, we chill, also I'll be live streaming more. Also we do other things like game nights. Also you can meet up with people, talk, chat, and get to know us and sometimes I'm in there so feel free to come and chat with me if you ever want to speak and hang out. The link to the Discord will be down below as well. Thank you guys so much and remember, Gemini loves you. Bye bye!